Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions. Thank you again so much for our time together. We've been talking about sexual immorality for the last couple of days. Now let's talk about keeping pure. Beginning in verse 15, Solomon says, Drink water from your own well. Share your love only with your wife. In other words, hey, don't be having sex around. You know, drink from your own well. Have sex with your own asawa. Why spill the water of your springs in the street having sex with just anyone? You should reserve it for yourselves. Never share it with strangers. Sex is something that is to be reserved between the husband and the wife. He goes on. Let your wife be a fountain of blessing for you. Rejoice in the wife of your youth. She's a loving deer, a graceful doe. Let her breasts always satisfy you. May you always be captivated by her love. Why be captivated, my son, by an immoral woman or fondle the breasts of a promiscuous woman? I noticed that. He said, listen, would you just go home and, you know, enjoy your wife? And ladies, go home and enjoy your husband. Don't be spreading this around. Don't be sharing this around. Don't be looking for new experiences. And he said, listen, why, why do you want to be captivated by, by this other? And it is taken captive. Why, why do you want to be taken captive by a promiscuous woman? Learn. Be satisfied in your own marriage. One of the first lessons I learned in my pastoral internship is a very young man, 17 years old. I was serving little Pastor Willis Wilton in Canton, Illinois, and he was counseling with a, a, a couple one day. And it got into some problems like this. And when it was all finished, the husband looked at the wife and said, you know what? When you've got butter in the refrigerator, you're not out looking for margarine. Now, I grew up in the country, so I understood what that meant. And this was an agricultural society around there, a small town. When you've got real fresh butter, you're not out looking for the cheap star- store-bought stuff. As a couple, learn to satisfy each other. Learn to pleasure each other. And don't be out there messing around. That's not to be shared with anybody else. <laughs>